the, the mild to moderate exercise is probably underrated. <coughs> I spend a lot of time telling my patients, and they're patients because generally they're injured, that go for a walk 15 minutes a day briskly or twice a day <coughs> for 15 minutes or go for a 20 minute walk. I know that's not what you're paid to do, but I'd prefer to see them walk every day as well as do their three sessions with you at the end of three or six weeks of which they'll probably be in the different category of risk. So walking's probably underrated. And, you, and the other bit that, that hasn't been mentioned is their risk of injury. So a lot of people are watching a lot of reality TV that implies that after three months you can run a marathon if you weigh 100 yeah. kilos. It's not real and it's <coughs> not true. And so we don't see the Biggest Loser guys get injured. We don't see anyone else getting injured. And that's, that, that's the bit that's very underestimated. And that's part of your cell is the reason we're taking it really gradually, the reason we're only letting you walk, whatever you say, walk around the block, they can do more, is because we want to graduate your fitness and <coughs> reduce your risk of injury. Because there's no point in going like a bull at a gate and ending up with a stress fracture and being stuck for six weeks out of everything, which we see a lot. I think uh, I understand where you're coming from, but you've got to realise, of course, that under the screen tool, you're working outside the guidelines, so you're legally liable, okay? So I think that's the first thing that you should be careful about. The second thing is that I would argue that if, if you've got clients, and I've been in your category, okay, in, in some of your clients' category, um, with two or more risk factors, so look, for me, as long as I've been exercising regularly, I will understand that I'm going to get muscle soreness. And I don't know whether you emphasise that. I mean, you have many clients who come back and think they're going to make up for 20 years of inactivity. Coming back into a class because they want to get fit, they've suddenly made a New Year's Eve resolution, they want to emulate the biggest loser or whatever it might be, and then they suddenly find within a couple of weeks time they're so stiff and sore they can't move. So that's not going to do your business any good either. So I think it's really important that you actually educate them along the way to have a graduated program and say, we're going to exercise you at a low to moderate level. When you, progress, when you get to a certain level, we'll progress you, whatever that level of progression may be, so they'll continue in their exercise program for a long period of time, not for just a short-term goal. I understand where you're coming from. I see it as an EP a lot. We have people with chronic disease coming into the clinic who've got, who are completely sedentary, no exercise history. The whole lifestyle change is, you know, an issue for them and that it's working with them initially through those stages of behaviour change until they're ready to make those roles or make those changes themselves in their own time. And that can be, it varies from individual to individual, it can be quite a long process. I guess, and I acknowledge that's an issue, but, but if you're working outside of that scope, I, I think as Ian said, given that this is the tool that has been developed and we're saying should be standard practice, then you, you are at risk of um, legal liability if there's a problem. And there's also an increased risk of people injuring themselves, um, just deciding that it's all too hard, delayed onset muscle soreness, I'm not going back there again. And so it's, I, I acknowledge you may, there's that possibility of some short term <coughs> loss of clients, but I think you develop that reputation over time that you get the results, it may be, you're not getting them straight away, but you're getting people there safely, you're not injuring anyone along the way, and for the long term <coughs> outcome for your business is positive.